Hi, I'm Sue Serio, and when you think about Philly food, the genuine Philadelphia cheesesteak comes right to mind. That sizzling combination of meat, cheese, condiments, and roll is as Philadelphia as the Liberty Bell, but not nearly as old. In fact, the cheesesteak as we know it traces its roots only back to the 1930s, right here at Pat's in South Philly. Pat Oliveri, originally a hot dog vendor, is widely credited with creating a Philadelphia food icon in the steak sandwich, which has been grilled at his shop on Pashunk Avenue ever since. And he received a big assist from another Philadelphian, Byron Morse. In the 1880s, he invented the crusty pinafore, or submarine roll, that made street sandwiches practical. Surprisingly, it took until the 1950s for cheese to take its place in the sandwich when longtime Pat's employee Joe Lorenzo had an inspiration of his own by adding a slice of cheese to the meat. Today, the cheesesteak is probably the region's favorite street food. Every neighborhood in the Philadelphia area sells it, like here at Tony Luke's in South Philly. Cheesesteaks are a staple of Philadelphia. I mean, it's, it's the one sandwich that we, we own. We created that sandwich. To me, a Philly cheesesteak is a ribeye steak. It's not a top round. It's not sirloin. It's an aged, well-marbleized ribeye steak. I prefer a crusty Italian roll, where most cheesesteaks were always made with a very soft roll. I like my roll crusty, more of an Italian bread. People who order cheesesteaks as opposed to plain steaks, uh, at least for here, and I would say in the majority of the city, I'd say it's about 90, 10, 90% 90 cheesesteak, 10% plain. The steak sandwich with a lot of onions. Uh, two American with. And I don't think anyone could lay claim to having the best cheesesteak. I mean, it's all a matter of personal preference. It's what you grew up with, it, it, it's what you like, it's what you prefer. So, you know, when I read people say, we're the best, and uh, I make the best, you've never heard me in an interview ever say, I make the best cheesesteak. I make the best cheesesteak I could possibly make. Some like their steak with provolone, others with American, and still others with... Cheesesteak with whiz. That's it. Good old processed cheese whiz, Kraft Foods gift to the culinary world. So just what is the story with that ultimate in processed food? To me as a kid, cheesesteak for me has always been whiz and fried onions. That's, that's my, my cheesesteak. You know, I don't know where it came from. I don't know how that particular thing started. I would assume that it was just the ease of putting, to putting it on, you know, as opposed to letting the steak cook and have to melt the American cheese and this was already warm and it was on. I, I would assume that was it. Today, the cheesesteak's fame has spread to cities around the country. So we're from Missouri, so you got to show us. It's a show me steak. First time I've ever been to Philadelphia. Um, said if you come to Philly, you got to have a cheesesteak. It's great. Better than a hamburger. But purists will tell you that after an hour's ride from Philly, Thanks. it just isn't the same. Is it the meat or the roll that seems to be lacking elsewhere? Or is it some hard to pin down Philly food attitude? I will have this cheesesteak in every city in the entire country. The right one, the way it's supposed to be, with the bread and the cheese. Ten years from now, th that question will be obsolete. Oh, yeah, I'm like the Johnny Appleseed of cheese things. <laughs> Just spreading cheese whiz and onions all across the country. So watch out, America. The real Philly cheesesteak may be ready to conquer your heart and your waistline.